Good morning, beautiful human of the internet. So I woke up this morning around 8.30 and I noticed in my little morning check-in that I do with myself that I actually woke up kind of feeling a little bit anxious or excited. I honestly couldn't really tell which one it was because sometimes I find it hard to distinguish the difference between being excited or being overwhelmed or anxious. After some thought, I realized that it was probably a little bit of both because I'm excited for my classes to start. I'm excited for this semester. Just last night, I made a whole calendar and a whole schedule basically mapping out everything that I have to do this semester. And the introduction to all of my classes made them all seem really interesting and the profs are really great. So I'm excited for that. And I'm also excited for all of the creative things that I have planned and the possibilities I have for all of these extracurricular things I wanna do this semester. But I also do feel a little bit overwhelmed. I think a big part of that could potentially be that my apartment is a disaster and it has been for a while. And there've been a lot of things that I've wanted to catch up on that I just, haven't really had the time for over the summer having worked as long as I did, or I guess as much as I did. I was also feeling a little bit overwhelmed and maybe anxious about my course load. Just hoping that the course load that I've chosen for myself this semester will give me enough time that I can focus on other things. The first couple of years that I was in school, I definitely did not have a very good school life balance. My mental health was not great and I was burning myself out. So I think at the beginning of the semester, I always kind of have a little bit of overwhelm or anxiety, just hoping that I don't ever fall back into that place of not taking care of myself and putting school first. Anyhow, I went ahead and made a list for myself today. My goals for the day were reset, so do laundry, clean my apartment. Another goal that I had was nourish. I wanted to try and eat my good three meals in a day, which can be sometimes hard when you don't have a routine or a schedule. And then I figured that if I had time, I might plan some meals or do some groceries, but I wasn't too pressed for those things, so we'll see if I get around to it today. Breakfast this morning was some sourdough toast with some peanut butter and some apple jelly that my boyfriend's mom sent home with me, which was absolutely delicious and divine. And once I had eaten, I got busy turning this into this. I also turned this into this and somehow ended up doing this. Does anyone get those intrusive thoughts? that tell you that now would be a really good time to just rearrange your whole house, but like monthly. And if you do, do you listen to them? Because I always listen to them. And as it usually does, this rearranging ended up in a disaster zone, but luckily for me, the disaster zone was interrupted by an online class that I had to take. Large floating icebergs through the material of the ocean floors created by the Atlantic Ocean and the once my class was done, I was honestly feeling pretty overwhelmed with the disaster that I had created and now the responsibility to clean up this disaster. So I decided to have a mini dance party to shake off some of the stress. Whether you wanna believe it or not, the crazy dance parties actually work, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. And this time was no different. I definitely felt better after spinning my brains around for a little bit. And then I realized that it was lunchtime and that one of my goals for the day was to actually eat three meals. So it was time to make lunch, which ended up just being a turkey sandwich and some kombucha. As you would imagine, a simple but beautiful lunch such as this was many things. It was delicious, it was satisfying, and it was also extremely unsettling when this happened. Oh my god, terrifying moment. I just saw my plate and saw this and I thought it was a maggot, but it's actually just some mustard that fell off of my sandwich. Like, isn't that terrifying? I thought I had just eaten a sandwich full of maggots. That is so gross. Anyways, after eating lunch, I spent a couple hours tidying up and organizing from the rearranging disaster. And then I ended up going out to meet someone to go pick up a new camera for my boyfriend. Waiting for pairing. Head. Yeah, I don't know, 
soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Target acquired. Um, the guy was so nice. And I think now, because I had to drive like 20 minutes anyways, on the way back home we might as well go to a thrift store. Because I have donations to drop off. And just because I basically have not been to a thrift store all summer because I was just working the whole time. So that'll be fun. It's like 7.48. So I think Value Village closes at 9 or so. So we'll have a little bit of time. On the drive to the thrift store, the clouds looked so beautiful. Like, I feel like the way that they looked was the way that people paint clouds when they're trying to paint heaven. They just looked like heaven clouds. But anyhow, I totally forgot to film anything when I was actually in the thrift store. All I know is that when I left the thrift store, my heaven clouds were gone and I was left with this. Are you Darkness. Ugh, the days are getting shorter. Winter is coming. But at least we have good tunes. Once I got home, I ended up doing some laundry and making my bed. Which leads us to now. So here's what I found at the thrift store. I don't know that you'll be able to see them very well. I'm tripping over things. These wide leg Lululemon pants. And I feel like I'm gonna wanna crop them. Maybe to like here. So I think I would just like them better if they were cropped. And a pampered chef stoneware cookie pan thing. Honestly, today was a good day. I feel much less overwhelmed than I did this morning now that I've kind of cleaned my house up and rearranged some things and have started taking care of all of the clothes that I had still had laying around my house from when I did that massive declutter like months ago. I did find though that throughout the day today there were a lot of times where I was just kind of stuck sitting on my couch. I wasn't on my phone and I wasn't doing anything but I was just kind of stuck there like frozen and I think it's probably because when basically my whole apartment was upturned because I had listened to those funny little thoughts telling me that now is a good time to rearrange my apartment. I was a little overwhelmed with wanting to put it back together I suppose because it was just such a disaster zone and for those who don't know me I'll have you know that rearranging my apartment and rearranging furniture in my bedroom has always been a thing that I've done ever since I was living with my parents as a child, I would rearrange my room like every two months. I just like it. I don't really know what it is. I think just having a new energy, a new flow of energy in the space and even just like a new visual setup. I think sometimes it's easier to like get things done or stay focused in a space that feels kind of new. And you know, I just kind of find this suiting that I have a new or I guess a newly organized set up for going into this new semester because school is starting and I had my first class yesterday. So yeah, today feels good. I feel more calm and grounded now than I did this morning. And having a list of things I wanted to get done really did help me when I found myself <laughs> stuck on the couch, not knowing what to do next and feeling overwhelmed. It's just so much easier when you break things up into little parts. Also today I found myself really thinking about my upcoming trip to Australia or I guess my upcoming move to Australia because I'm planning to move there for a year. Even when I was just rearranging my house or decluttering my stuff or even when I was at the thrift store, knowing that I am leaving helped me kind of prioritize things to keep or things to get rid of, or things worth buying at the thrift store, or things not worth buying because I know that I need to pack up all of my stuff in December. So that has been another interesting thing on my mind on this lovely day. But I think it's time for me to get ready for bed, or at least start making my way to getting ready for bed. I hope me in the future is doing well, and I hope that you, everyone other than future Gabrielle, are also doing well. As always, my friends, thanks for spending this little chunk of your day with me here in our little corner of the internet. I hope this video finds you well, I hope you're taking care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one.